On today's show, we're going to create ourselves a nice little Bahamian dish, minced crawfish or minced lobster. Heck yeah, but we're not going to stop right there. We're going to create ourselves a nice batch of creamy grits. We're going to take that grits, we're going to plate that grits, and then we're going to top those creamy grits with our minced crayfish, kind of sort of creating a new little dish, Bahamian lobster and grits. Heck yeah. Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. We've got everything we need right here, so let's go ahead and get started on our Bahamian lobster and grits right now. Let's go ahead and get started on our Bahamian lobster and grits. We got all we need right here, all our little ingredients right here. Let's take a look first at um, our grits ingredients. Now, don't give me too hard of a time. These, <laughs> that's a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of instant grits. Hey, you know, it's okay, don't worry. We're gonna, we're gonna spice it up a little bit and make it a little better than just plain uh, instant grits. So we've got some water and right here. So that's about a, that's a cup of water. And usually they, uh, on the package, they say, you know, one and a half cups of water, your grits, salt, pepper, done with it. No, 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 not, 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 not here at Abaco's <laughs> Bar and Grill. We can do a, a cup of water. Right here is a half a cup of heavy cream. Heck yeah. And then right here, we've got two tablespoons of butter. We've got a little salt over here and we've got some cayenne pepper. I like to use the cayenne pepper when I'm dealing with something that you may be able to see the black pepper throughout that, you know, I don't know, look like you might have something in there. But anyway, you could use white pepper if you wanted to. Believe it or not, white pepper corns are the same thing as black pepper corns, but what they do is they, they take the, the black husk uh, of, of the peppercorn off, then you've got white peppercorns grounded up, boom, you got white pepper. But anyway, I think using the cayenne pepper uh, is, is, is kind of a, uh, a neat little thing. And uh, you know, you probably have cayenne pepper over <laughs> white pepper. But anyway, um, that's, that's for our grits right over here. This is gonna be for our minced crayfish. We've got two little, um, about two to three ounce uh, Bahamian lobsters or tails or or the, the Caribbean lobster, or if you want to call them, those are crayfish. How's that? Heck yeah. So we got two of those. We're going to cook those up here in a second. We got some agave nectar. We got a small onion minced up. We've got uh, about three ounces of tomato paste right here. We've got two tablespoons of lard or vegetable shortening. We got just a little touch of, uh, which I think that's about a quarter teaspoon of ground thyme. And uh, right here, we got about a quarter cup of water. Right there, we got a lemon. We're gonna use all of the zest of that lemon and half of the juice. And I think, yes, I think that's got us taken care of. Now I do have uh, some salted water over here up to a boil. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our lobster tails. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna drop them in there just like so. And we're gonna let those boil, uh, cook down for about a minute an ounce. So we're gonna go in three minutes. I might even let it go four. We're gonna take them out, put them in an ice water bath to stop that, that cooking. Then we'll take them out shell, chop them up, and then they will be ready for <laughs> our minced lobster. But we're also gonna come in here. Let's see here, I'm gonna turn this up. We're gonna go ahead and get our grits started. You know, at least it's not real grits and it take 25, 30, sometimes 40 minutes to cook. But anyway, we're gonna come in here with our water. We're gonna add that, oh yes. Well, it's good to have that pan, uh, that pot a little preheated when we're, <laughs> when we're doing these. Now we're gonna come in here with our uh, half a cup of our cream. And you know, so we've got a little scientific experiment going on. Heck yeah, <laughs> I got our beakers and all. So anyway, now we're gonna come in here I'm going to add my spices to that, which is my salt and cayenne pepper. I'm not really giving you any, any quantities on those two. That's going to be to your taste, but I guess you could say that was probably maybe a teaspoon and a half of salt, maybe two teaspoons, and then maybe a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's just 
you know, that's, that's kind of sort of my taste. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add my butter, I think, just like that. And we're going to bring that up to a boil and we're going to add our grits. All right, I tell you what, we've got our, our lobster tails or our crayfish tails. They are ready to come off. I'm going to turn. Let's see which one. It's, uh, yep, turn that one off. And I'm going to turn this down because we are about ready. Let me go ahead and grab these, drop those little guys, check them out. Heck yeah, right there in that ice cold bath of water. I think there we are. Heck yeah, wow, that water was hot. <laughs> Ouch. So I'm going to turn them over just like so. They're good to go. Boom. So let's get back to our, our grits. Now we've got everything. Now, you do need to be careful sometimes if you walk away and and your uh, this water with that uh, with that dairy in there what I think can take off and boil over and that makes a mess so just keep that in mind don't 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 just run off and let it begin to boil but anyway we're gonna come in and we're going to just add our grits and get those all nice and stirred in just like so just like that this is not I promise you any type of rocket science whatsoever so now we've got those combined I'm going to turn this down on about a medium heat and let it kind of kind of boil simmer maybe is that that makes sense <laughs> hopefully it does so I tell you what we're going to let this cook for probably another couple of three four five minutes and that's going to be done oh man and oh by the way it does smell pretty good <laughs> Oh man, I tell you what, that is boiling good. So I have turned that down on just about low and we can let this thing go ahead and finish doing its cooking and we will be ready to begin. See how it's starting to thicken up? And we're gonna be ready to begin our minced crayfish shortly. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I tell you, I think these are done. Heck yeah, check that out. Look at they're holding together and you know what? Yep, I'm going to move that off the heat and then I'm going to put that on a new burner and get it as low as I can. And turn this up and now we're ready to get started on our minced crayfish. So I'm going to come in here with our uh, two tablespoons of vegetable shortening or lard, whichever you would like. And we're going to melt that down and get it to a nice clear state so we can get into step number two all right tell you what it looks like that is just about completely melted now i'm going to come back in here and we're going to add our onions just like so heck yeah man look at that check that out oh yeah those are looking good we're going to turn that heat up and we're going to get these things nice and caramelized i guess you could say heck yeah we are we're going to actually brown these a little bit i'm going to come in with our thyme and just add that in there because I want to get those flavors out as much as I can. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of fine sea salt. I'm just going to hit this just like so. Then we'll come over and we'll grab a little bit of cayenne pepper again just to taste. Just like that. That's all we need. Not a lot. Just enough to give that a nice little bite as it Kind of sort of goes down heck yeah so here we go we're gonna get these things nice and cooked oh man i tell you what those are looking good nice little brown color on those onions tell you what now it is time for step two hey there's our there's our chopped up uh crayfish tails right there heck yeah so let's go ahead and now add our tomato paste that's about three ounces just like so i think off off yeah, off maybe. <laughs> a little sticky. Now we come in, we're gonna add our water, just like that. And we're gonna give this a nice little stir. Heck yeah, I'm gonna break this tomato paste up and get it all nice and dispersed throughout our little uh, thyme, vegetable shortening and onion. Uh, mixture right here heck yeah all right I tell you what I'm gonna turn that heat down we've got this uh, tomato paste pretty much kind of sort of broken up and and now it's more of a smooth little sauce we got going on here now we're gonna cook this for a couple more minutes 
and we'll be ready to finish our minced crayfish dish up. Yes, sir. Oh man, I tell you, that is looking pretty daggone good. Heck yeah, check that out. Yes, sir, Re. Now, it's been, it's been about two minutes, I guess. So we're gonna come in now and we're going to add the zest of our lime. And then we're gonna come in here and we're going to uh, juice half of a lime and add those nice citrusy flavors into our sauce. Heck yeah. All right, I tell you what, we've got our lime, I do believe, zested as well. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. Anyway, <laughs> never get all of it off, but man, you keep wanting to keep wanting to have a nice clean uh, lime. Anyway, we got that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and make a noise, and then we're gonna come in and just kind of sort of mix this around like so. Now we're gonna come in. Thought I had a knife. Now I have a knife, and we could come in. And voila, just like so. Put you here. I don't know. Use use you for a <laughs> for for a drink here in a few. <laughs> a little gin and tonic maybe. So, anywho, wow, that's a big that's a big lime. <laughs> Not fitting in the in the lime juicer. But you know what? I think. Whoa, making a mess as usual. Wow. There we go. Now we're gonna come in here and get that combined just like so and now we're going to come in as i always like to do when when i'm doing anything with with tomatoes tomato sauce tomato paste i like to add a little sugar uh this can be optional if you want but i'm going to come in and add maybe i don't know right there i, I guess that's going to be about two teaspoons of agave nectar or you can use probably a couple of teaspoons of sugar if you want to do that so we're gonna come in here now just like so oh man heck yeah I can't wait to get this on top of my grits over there heck yeah so I tell you what let's get that combined now I'm gonna come in with our with our crayfish our Bahamian lobsters and we're just gonna kind of sort of do that oh no did I did I oh, oh no I lost a piece eh, oh well <laughs> I know what the cats can be doing here in a minute now we're just gonna come in here combine all this up and then we're gonna let this cook for another minute or so and then guess what it's time it will be time for us to top our grits with our minced crayfish oh man oh that smells delicious oh man i tell you what it looks and ah, smells delicious i tell you what let's go ahead and give this a little bit of a taste and see what we have here we'll grab a little bit get a little bit of that crayfish in there come on let's go let's see what we have Ooh, and that's fine that's perfect that's all we need is a taste mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. man that is that pretty daggone good heck yeah minced crayfish right there you get that little that little bump from the from the cayenne pepper and then you also get another little bump at the same time from that agave nectar you get that nice um lobster bahamian lobster or crayfish uh flavor also you know what let's go ahead and heck yeah let's go ahead and get this thing plated up because i'm hungry so i'm gonna see exactly how good we did i'm gonna come in with our our grits now if you know if your grits do get a little thick, add a little bit more water or some butter or even a little bit more cream and that will kind of sort of loosen them up. But let's see here, just like so. Heck yeah. Voila. Heck yeah, man. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you what, this is, you know, I'm trying to figure out exactly how many this can serve. Well, you know what? This is going to serve one person today. I think you can get uh, two servings out of it. I tell you, let's get that right there. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. So anyway, you know, I, I think you could probably get yourself uh, two servings depending. You know, this could be, this didn't have to be a dinner. It could be like a starter, a little appetizer or something. Anyway, here we go. Now, let's come in here. We're gonna top this with our minced lobster, just like so. Oh, heck yeah, just like that, heck yeah. So, well, now, you know, I was talking about, I wonder how many this could serve. 
I love grits, so I'm gonna say this really could probably serve two people. You know, top like that, I'm gonna add a little bit more, just like that, but yeah, we've got probably, a nice little mess, Dave. We probably have enough in there for one more serving if we <laughs> had any, any more grits. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna pop this with just a little bit of cayenne. You know, just like so, not a lot. Voila, just like that. And I tell you, I'm gonna try to clean that plate up just a tad from the mess I just made with the cayenne. I tell you, we got a little bit of chopped chives right here. So we can come in here and just kind of add a little bit on top of that, just like so. Voila, heck yeah. And you know what, we got a little bit of fresh basil. What can we do with that? I tell you what, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this. Just mess that whole thing up, didn't I? But anyway, voila, just like that. Are you kidding me? Check it out, yum, yum, yum. I tell you, man, there it is right there. Oh, goodness gracious. There is our Bahamian lobster and grits. It's comprised of a Bahamian dish, minced crayfish, and our creamy grits. So why not Bahamian lobster and grits right there for you? Heck yeah. Man, that thing's looking good. And heck yeah. Oh, there we go. Hey, if you want the recipe, check out the description down below or gourmetfishing.com. We got everything right over there, right down here. How about a nice little dish, a little pasta dish, lobster Diablo. And hey, right there. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. It all does help. And until next time, God bless, and we'll see y'all soon.